is here to tell us what we can expect this evening and the weekend's almost here too, Michelle. Yeah, it's looking good as we start our weekend. We've got nice sunshine. It's going to feel good to have that sun on our faces again tomorrow. And we had a little peak of it early this afternoon, but sunshine to start the weekend follows up with the 40s. We're talking about January highs returning and then late weekend rain chances are improving for Sunday. So we've got it as an impact day and winter chill returns. We may even see some mountain snow, possibly some slick spots for early Monday morning. We'll be watching this carefully as the storm system still takes development over the next couple of days. 64 degrees in Greensboro so far today, 67 in Burlington, typically 49 this time of the year, so almost 20 degrees above normal. That would be fantastic, but we've made it to 65 and we're holding there right now in Greensboro as we have that warm wind in place. A couple of fronts still to get through. They're going to come through dry, but they are going to keep our winds up overnight, so breezy to gusty at times, and we're looking at wind advisories until at least 4 o'clock for much of the area. This includes Allegheny County and folks back out into to Boone and Blowing Rock all the way up through Roanoke. So watching those gusts out there anywhere from 20 to 25 miles an hour right now, now down to 13 miles an hour in Sparta, so not bad, but we're about to see those winds really impact us over the next several hours. So that low level jet stream, you can see it here aloft, really impacting the winds here at the surface too. That stays with us through early tomorrow morning, and we notice that it's worse in the mountains through much of the day. And then we see that impact for winds dropping somewhat on Saturday. Still though, cooler air arriving, and we notice some big changes again once we get you into Sunday. So we get a couple of days of dry conditions before the next round of rain chances. Wind chill forecast will also be a concern tomorrow morning down into the 20s and teens even as we look at those winds staying anywhere from 30 to 40 for gusts and sustained winds 15 to 25 overnight there. You see temperatures just to the east of the mountains not as bad throughout the day tomorrow of course as we warm you into the 40s and low 50s tomorrow afternoon. All right, here's the four day forecast in the Piedmont from 55 degrees and gusty conditions tomorrow. We start to to dry out and cool down even more to 30 degrees on Saturday and Saturday does look cooler. Most of our day is sunny, but by late afternoon those clouds begin to stack up in advance of the system that arrives on Sunday. This is going to bring in an impact day for us. Good rain chances and a 60% chance of showers. We also have chilly air at about 45 degrees for highs 50 on Monday and some morning possibilities with precipitation that could be at least rainy, if not a little slick with wet roads in the triad foothills. We're looking at temperatures staying above freezing. It looks like for Monday morning too, but it's Monday or Sunday night into Monday morning that we'll be watching carefully. And for everybody, rain chances could bring up some half inch totals for us by Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon rather. So wintry mix for folks in the mountains. This could mean some snow showers for Monday morning there. Temperatures are cold on Sunday too, 30s out there, but at least you're above freezing, we believe right now for much of the day Sunday. Hour by hour forecast and we show you that we've got clouds in place around us, but pretty dry all the way through Saturday until the afternoon. We've got you with upper 40, so it's cooler, which is seasonable for this time of the year. You've got the wintry conditions back down to over the mountains along the Blue Ridge Parkway, and that's where we talk about that quick, brief wintry mix early Sunday before that round of snow may greet us there on the western slopes. We'll talk more about that as we get closer to it. The seven-day forecast in the 40s on Saturday and drying out early next week.